Greetings, good brothers, good sisters. Taking a look at an upgrade package, and it is for the big guy. Titans Return Fortress Maximus. Really awesome toy, but did not come with the heavy artillery that the original one came with, and it's fans to the rescue. We actually did get lucky in the case of this particular Fortress Maximus. Hasbro did release good old COG. So he's, they saved us the uh, extra dough of having to get a third-party cog. This is a really fantastic one. But Fort Max himself, the original one, came with a big blaster rifle. Maybe not big enough, in my opinion. Uh, but still, um, I guess due to cost-cutting measures, they didn't include any actual rifles. His uh, rifle or his dual hand blaster. They didn't even include these things, which is going to be another upgrade I'm going to be taking a look at soon. This is actually the first of a couple of upgrades I'm going to be uh, sharing with you. I'm also going to be taking a look at some of the DNA upgrades for Fortress Maximus coming in a little while. But I wanted to start off with this Perfect Effect Blaster, which was originally re released in 2016. Doesn't look as though it's available um, very widely anymore. Hopefully they'll do another reissue of it. They have been reissuing these um, But eBay might be your only way at the moment of getting this particular one that is intended for uh, Fortress Maximus there is a red recolor at uh, Big Bad Toy Store so that one would uh, look just as nice or maybe even better with uh, if you've got a Brave Maximus or a Grand Maximus, but uh, Super nice box. I know some people care about the boxes and nice box as usual on the third party stuff and a nice clamshell really holding it nice and secure so that nothing will get knocked around loose and bust and really nice presentation too. We as uh, toy collectors, uh, regardless of vintage uh, of uh, generation, it's just nice to when you're actually taking a piece out of the packaging to have this type of presentation um, rather than wrapped up in like tissues or or um, you know that type of shortcut type of thing but this is the uh, perfect effect blaster which is just absolutely awesome awesome uh, this part does come off as I just unintentionally showed you um, the great thing about this thing is that it's compatible with both the big guy uh, and also the G1 Fortress Maximus too. So I'm going to show you what this looks like with the original guy. But uh, here is a comparison of size of the two. They're just about the same length, but the Perfect Effect one has so much more detail in it. Um, quite a bit heavier as well. More color applications for a gun this size. I'm actually surprised even for 1987 that Hasbro didn't do more with it. More paint applications, a couple of moving parts here or there. So yeah, this to me is kind of, in a sense, uh, a piece of unfinished business, not just for being a much needed rifle for Titan's Return Fortress Maximus, but also being able to do this type of stuff. The stock actually swings out and he's got like a shoulder stock there pop that back on and there's this thing as well I forgot to mention when this is in a collapsed state there's a little tab right here that this hole right here plugs into to keep it from swinging around when you've got him if you attach this on to base mode um, there's various pegs around where you can plug him in to uh, plug it into his base mode or his battleship mode but we're gonna swing the stock out to attach it to Fortress Maximus pop this back on there it holds nice and secure sometimes these things have the best intentions when they're designed but they don't they don't function very well but the tolerances here are great it's in there nice and tight and before I pop it on to Fortress Maximus himself I'm gonna take a look at some of the details here this is an all-important peg right here because this is what you use to attach it to Fortress Maximus 
when he is in either his base mode or his battleship mode. You can see um, there's a little hole right up there and that will attach onto that. It is um, not much clearance there, but you can get it to work. Or also up on his shoulder, you can plug it into there. Holds nice and secure so you can strap the gun on his back or guns if you want to get more than one. And uh, in terms of this big one right here, I actually, I'm not sure if there are any holes on Fort Max that those will fit in. Doesn't really fit in the uh, engine blasters there. There's also this hole on the top of the, the leg cannon as well. And I believe you can fit that on there too. Lots of options on where you want to store the gun when it's not being used, but it is designed for, and I'm sure most people will use it for being a hand cannon. So I've got um, the DNA upgrade hands on here already, actually, and I will be doing a, a video in a bit showing how to swap that and all of the features of the hands themselves. But here is one of the original hands and this perfect effect cannon will work with both the original hands as well as the new DNA hands. So you just, um, the way you do it is you just slide the thumb through like that and then you press this giant post in there, close the fingers up. The, yeah, actually I forgot how posable the Hasbro hands were, like each finger is articulated and that holds in there nice and secure. I had an issue with my uh, Brave Maximus years ago. I got a Repro blaster for him that never fit in his hand properly. And uh, so I learned through that that having a gun that fits securely in your Fortress Maximus's hand is very important. Otherwise it'll drop, fall out, and break. Mine actually broke from how many times it fell out and from the height it dropped. So. This one is the same idea. We just take this post right here, and this is a much tighter fit than the Hasbro one. It actually fits snugger in there than this fits in there. So the, the perfect effect um, post fits in the Hasbro hole tighter than the perfect effect peg fits in the perfect effect hole here. That's kind of funny. You, you can easily tighten that up though, you know how. Uh, crazy glue or clear nail polish and you can just wrap the fingers around wrap the thumb around and Fortress Maximus is now holding his ginormous hand cannon and one thing I like to do with this thing you can either push it up here out of the way or back here but I actually like to use this as kind of a trigger so I'll take the, uh, the pointer finger and just put it against that so that kind of looks like he's reaching forward. Holy guacamole, that is a huge cannon. Very, very fitting for your Titans Return Fortress Maximus. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. You know, in some cases, it's almost a blessing in disguise when a Transformer doesn't come with a certain thing, and then we get something like that that is just way more than we could ever imagine. Uh, I'm thinking about the DNA upgrade kit for Scorponok. We're getting some really awesome stuff from DNA in that upgrade kit, and I'm not sure if uh, even if Hasbro had attempted to do stuff like that, if it would have come out looking as good. That is huge. Uh, the stock that flips out makes such a huge difference. And to give you an idea of what it looks like, this is actually a lot easier. You just pull it off of the uh, off of the base part that he's currently holding. Fold that up, plug that in if you want, or you can still have it sticking out as a trigger. Stick that back in, and. So it's a little shorter now. If you get two of them, uh, and you, you don't want them to be completely identical because even though the Headmasters all had 
uh, two of the same rifle. Fortress Maximus didn't. He was the asymmetrical one, and Fortress Maximus is, if he's anything, he's asymmetrical. So if you want a pair of these, but to have them asymmetrical, since no one's done Max's uh, little dual cannon, the little handgun looking double barrel cannon, you could get a pair of these and then you could uh, collapse the stock on one of them and then extend the stock on another one and then you've got asymmetry. My favorite part about this entire piece right here is the, uh, the lens right here, the scope. It has this really beautiful shiny metallic lens to it really catches the light very very nicely it's a a dark cannon hole there's nothing in there um, sometimes there's like a cool effect like masterpiece optimus prime has a the original one at least had a, like a green translucent piece of plastic that made it kind of look like it was glowing but nothing in there and another really nice part about it is this right here the I guess targeting system type of thing but it's a translucent green and it looks really cool too so the scope in particular is really nicely done on this piece I don't believe it's removable it looks like it might plug in but it might be completely glued in there but a really beautiful piece the the blues match Fort Max really well the original one as well and the silver paint job is done really well too Nice red paint application. There's actually a couple of different silvers. There's light silver, dark silver, straight up black, glossy black. There's so much paint variation here. White, a lot more than you would have expected for the canon of Fortress Maximus. And a little red paint application there. Really, really beautifully done piece. And here's an original 1987 Fortress Maximus, not a reissue. And we're going to take a look at what it looks like. Popping this one into the Fortress Maximus, the original G1 version. So pop the old one out, pop the new one in. I think it goes surprisingly well with the original Fortress Maximus. Sometimes it's a clash of detail. You can't really have modern stuff with the less detailed, less detailed, more charming in many cases things but I was surprised when I first put this cannon with the G1 Fortress Maximus how well it looked and almost better better than the original one because I remember the first time I ever saw F Fortress Maximus I was overwhelmed by Max I was underwhelmed by his gun even though this is one of the biggest hand cannons for any G1 Transformer compared to the body of Fort Max it still looks like a little pistol like a handgun um, this giant one, especially with the stock extended, is a little more fitting for the absolute enormous size of Fortress Maximus. So you can have G1 Fortress Maximus using this rifle with one bend in his arm or no bend in his arm like that. The one thing I have noticed, the one limitation though, is when you put two bends in the arm at the elbow like so the original rifle still fits easily because it's so short there's tons of space here but when you take the perfect effect gun it won't fit in there anymore unless you do a little bit of g1 optimus prime action with the uh, how many people remember that the the wonky um what is it the word derpy <laughs> pointing on the inside to get the gun to fit you can't really um do it the other way too much stuff is in the way there so what you can do though this is what uh, is really nice about this collapsing stock is that you just fold it up and now it easily fits again there's actually um, even more space between the end of the gun and the shoulder than the original gun had so if uh, for whatever reason space or just the way it looks or I don't know whatever the reason may be if you need to bend that arm like that or want to then you can still have this gun fit you've got options and I'm a big fan of when companies provide those types of options for 
display possibilities. So there's your in-depth look at the Perfect Effect Fortress Maximus Blaster. Definitely a blaster worthy of the enormous size of Fortress Maximus. I want to give a big thank you to the Patreon tribe for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And also thank you to everyone hitting the join button to become a channel member. Thank you very much. More Fortress Maximus upgrades coming soon. Until then, transform a thought in the comment spot and to join the tribe, blast subscribe. Nerd mistake.